moment you've all been waiting for, my actual room reveal. I've spent a lot of time crafting and articulating every nook and cranny of this place, and I'm so excited to share it with you. Let me riddle you this. When you think of your dream bedroom, is it a dark cubicle that you just reside in while you sleep? Or is it something a lot more special and actually resembles who you are as a person? For me, it's the second one. Over the past couple weeks, I've been very fine-tuning my room to make sure it's exactly how much of me I want. There is too much of me. I fear if I am my full authentic self, it ain't gonna be pretty. Are you ready to see it? MTV! You're here early. Hi. Welcome to my crib. I see you've already met my very first huh? greeting. I named him Lithium. Come on, I don't even know where to start with this room. It honestly speaks too many languages for me to comprehend. That's exactly how I wanted it. Welcome to my Dr. Seuss inspired room. Whimsical bookshelf. Whimsical painting. Whimsical cat club. Whimsical LED cloud. Whimsical rug. Whimsical mirror. Sexy Carter in the mirror. <laughs> My favorite feature is how elongated my cloud wall is. It starts at one side and then magically transforms itself all the way to the other. If you look closely, it does make out a seat. See, it was a last resort. Now that you're in my room, oh, let me show you. This is my favorite part. Come. These are all of my records for my record player. And YouTube actually gifted me this. It's my greatest hits and it has my name on it. And it's nice to know that YouTube cares about me. And I care about you too. Hit the like and subscribe button. Ah. Harry Styles, Frank Ocean, Queen's Greatest Hits. This one's more for my dad. It's YouTube. The Beatles, even though it has absolutely nothing on it. This is the white album. Billy Eilish! Libby Rodrigo, Fleetwood Mac, Miley Cyrus. And once again, Billy Eilish! Here, I gotta give you a tour of this squish here. First up, we have my very own fuzz mullet. This is a frog. He was gifted to me from one of my amazing viewers at VidCon. My favorite feature about him is his nose and mouth make a smiley face. We smile together after my bath. To the right of him was a Valentine squish model that was gifted to me from Squish. His name is Lyle. It's a shrimp with a little shrimp attached to him. A shrimp tail. Going down a flight. Harrison guarding my very own Disney animation art book. It was gifted to me from my new neighbors. Shout out Jordan. Thank you. Harrison's a good boy. Sometimes he barks for me. Then stepping over a little bit, we have my biggest squish mallow in existence. Everybody meet Betsy. Moving over a little more, we have Baby Yoda. And then moving over one more time. This is kind of a node to my spam TikTok, Hungry Carter Pillar, because it's literally a caterpillar. His name is Pillar, and he's big and beefy. Just how I like it. <gasps> like on my tacos. And then directly under Underneath, we have a placeholder because I do in fact have a couch en route to my house. You have a question for me? You're supposed to ask me to explain my bookshelf. Oh, please explain your bookshelf. I would love to. I'm so glad you noticed. So this was from a custom shop on Etsy. I already knew I wanted a Dr. Seuss theme. And I think this was the perfect accent for that. And you can also see around it, I placed my Kit Kat clocks that I've obtained over the years. They all have a lot of value to me. And sometimes we lock eyes and just never let go. A lot of this stuff is from my old room, which you can kind of see I reuse. I didn't know where I was going to put this cloud when I first moved in. And once I had the bookshelf, I thought it was perfect. There's also five amazing shelves with a bunch of awesome decorations on it, such as books, squishmallows, my fake Louis Vuitton dog, pictures of friends, fake plants, and of course, a tiny microscopic Ferris wheel. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Ask me to play a song. Play a song. Oh my god, really? If you look closely, my YouTube's actually on the record player because this was in fact a gift from them. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for gifting me this. Five, six, seven. I really wanted this room to be kind of modern with a little touch of my creativity. Hence as to why I have all of the floating shelves. And my favorite addition is a TV, which actually, when you turn it on, shows me and my best friends. Hi, baby! And we have my amazing desk. It's actually a standing desk, but honestly, it's a lot of work to lower and raise, even though it's a touch of a button. It's still a lot. My desk is where I spend a lot of my time editing and just kind of doing whatever I do. I have ADHD, so sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. I like to remind myself of some of the fonder moments in my life, such as this picture of me and my best friend seeing the Grinch, <laughs> aka my baby daddy. I also have tarot cards if I ever feel doubtful. I don't know what they mean, though. So oftentimes I'll just make up my own definition. It's actually really easy and I taught myself from a five minute DIY YouTube video. Shuffle the cards until cards fall out. <gasps> oh my gosh. So the first one is Grandma Susan trying to solve a crossword puzzle. Unfortunately, that's not a good thing because she never finishes. Which means you probably have some tasks in your life that you're just procrastinating. The second card is the Apprentice of Pentacles. Oh girl. You know what that means, right? Right here we have a man that just obtained the reward. You can see these trees that almost look like little coralline fingertips trying to reach them. That means that there are people in your life right now that are trying to steal your Ooh. winnings. So if you're about to win the lottery, girl, run. Sometimes when I'm on a Zoom call on my computer, I get stressed. And I have a homosexual to keep me company. Squeeze it. Yeah, you feel that serotonin that just got released? Therapeutic. And then directly to the right of that is another fidget that I sometimes use, but honestly, it has a really sharp horn. Kind of a turn off. When I was shopping for the tarot cards, I also came across a decision maker. I got both. MTV videographer, do you have a yes or no question that you want to ask me? Do you mind sharing with the class? Uh, does my sister have IBS? That's a great question, MTV videographer. Come here. The energy from your hand will get released into the finger. It will then pick a decision based on the energy. <gasps> I'm so sorry to hear that. There's a lot of specialists out there that can help. You can kind of see I have my squish bill lined on the top and then my four inch squish lined on the bottom. And I did that because they literally fit too perfectly to not. You know when life just makes sense like that? The next thing I have is this really amazing light that I use at night to read. Sometimes I like to do strobe just to annoy my eyes. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Oh, and this is one of my favorite pictures because I didn't make it. Someone drew me a bunch of squish mallows. I did have a picture of me and my best friend in here, but come on, this is too cute to not put. Somebody painted me a squish mallow sign with my name on it. If you take a look at my game,
gaming chair, you can see the remnants of my cat's claws. Let's do a tour of my shelf. My sister and her boyfriend helped me with a lot of it, but I did the decorating. Starting from left to right, we have Pikachu, Gengar, Golden Hans, which was a gift from the Squishmall team, and I love him endlessly. Pink Bigfoot, Pastel Blue Aesthetic Bigfoot, that's tinier. And my favorite part about the farm animals is they're all wearing little special things that make them cute. Some of them have overalls, some of them have bandanas. I have none of those, so I love them more. And the next shelf over are all of my florals. A lot of these I got during Easter time. Malcolm's the big boy, and all of his friends that also have the same passion for flowers. I almost want to call this one my summertime shelf, because think about what you have during the summertime. A popsicle? Is he ice cream? Ooh. Oh. You have ice cream? You have cactuses that thrive in the sunlight. And I don't know what animal that is, but it looks like it would be in the summertime, so I put it there. Following that, we have my iconic Disney shelf. I have every Disney character you can think of, except probably 70% of them. But it grows every day, so you never know what I'll have tomorrow. Hi, Jack Jack. These are the overflow. I present to you my black light shelf. It's pretty iconic because I have every single one of the squad, and I don't usually have that, but I've been blessed. For those of you who know my obsession with Bimbi, one day he's gonna sit on that shelf as well. Can I tell you a fact that you're probably gonna gasp at? Sitting on the next shelf is $2,000 worth of Squishmallows. Don't believe me? Not only do I have the gay ones, but I also have the rarest Squishmallow in existence as of three days ago, Jack the Black Cat. And then lastly, around my TV, I have a couple more of my Kit Kat clocks just because I thought the orange fit more over here than over there. I also have this acrylic glass table that I decided to put a bunch of squish under just to make it look a little more cozy. And then this super awesome Ikea lamp that's been with me for about two years now. This is a squish model cat bed in case my cats don't want to sleep with me but near me. Sometimes they do. This is a base that I told myself I would play two months ago and I've picked up three times. I'll do a quick tour of my balcony, but it's loud out there and you never know what you're gonna get, so we'll do it fast. Come on out. Do you remember our balcony from the last place? It's pretty similar. Not only do we have the new addition of an egg chair, but we also have an Eno. <laughs> It's a waterfall. And you can't forget the icon, Gary the Snail. There's also turf because it reminds me of my homeland. I miss having a yard. My closet isn't the cleanest. I did color coordinate the clothes. I'm proud of that. If you think it looks bougie now, just wait till you see it at night. You ever been to Cars Land at Disneyland's California Adventure? It's like that, but better. I also have this picture as you're exiting my room just to remember that life is whimsical as long as you let it be. I've actually dedicated a song directly to what I'm feeling right now. Let it glow, let it glow, let your bedroom gleam and glow. Let it glow throughout the night, even when you pillow fight. Let it illuminate your life, I say let it glow. My name's Carter and I'm 20. I still let my bedroom light my way. I did want to wait and show you guys my bathroom in the evening time because it does get spicy. First of all, we have my um us character. She's been with me for a long time. We also have a skincare fridge. On this sink, I have mini. And then on the other, I have Stitch. Aquaphor sent me PR. And it came in a ginormous Aquaphor container. So she's on my toilet. And directly above, a Louis Vuitton painting. And Chanel. It's kind of both. I installed these Philips Hue lights myself. You can tell because they didn't fully fit and I had to super glue them shut. And anyone that hates super glue, it's not only holding up these lights, but also my TV. Because this is, in fact, bolted by it. Also, I didn't even show you guys. These are all my food squishmallows. So when I have a movie night, it gets me in the mood to eat popcorn. And the color palette I chose for under here are orange and black because they're honestly two colors I really resonate with. The coolest part of it all, I paid like $333 for surround sound. Don't believe me? Isn't that amazing? I think the thing I love about bedrooms is that they're constantly evolving and you're never actually done with them. Just everywhere you look, you see more potential that has yet to be. Almost like we'd be back with another room tour update in about six months. So bear with me if you want to see that. And don't forget to comment below what your favorite part of my room is because I will be expanding. Who knows, you might inspire me. Oh my God, Tyler, I heard you have an any belly button. No, I have an outro. <laughs> I'm glad I got a TV. Look what happens when you press the power button. <laughs> Wait, what?